everyone. We're going to do conditioning class today to keep you nice and fit while you are having to be at home. Hope everyone is um, doing okay and is healthy. Um, let's have some fun with some classes and keep our bodies in shape. If you want to repeat any of the exercises, feel free to just pause the video and then do some repeats. You can probably repeat every exercise twice um, in the one lesson. So have some fun with it. We're going to start with some just basic rises to um, keep our ankles nice and strong. So we're going to squeeze our legs together. They're going to be parallel. We're going to face the bar. You can grab a chair if you want or anything that's stable that will be able to hold you. Um, and you're going to lift up through your body. Make sure that your posture is correct before you start. Lengthen your neck. We'll be nice and tall. So we're just going to rise up one and a two and a three and a four and a five, six, seven. You're going to do eight of those. Then you're going to come up. You're going to take a plie, holding that high demi point. Take your arms to first position, take a balance. You're going to squeeze the abs in, make sure the back is nice and straight, stretch up the legs, and then lower down. So eight rises and then a balance in a plie. Let's try it with some music. Lift up out of the hips, 
It's nice and straight. Squeeze that toe now. And lower down. Keep going. One. And rotate out, rotate out, and place it to first. And one. We're going to balance in retire or passe position. Passe position, okay? So you're going to start in fifth position. You're going to come up and you're going to come up into retire position. Put your arms in first position. And then all you're going to do is you're going to balance there. You're going to hold onto the supporting leg and balance. Put on your favorite piece of music. I want you to challenge yourself to balance for at least a minute. At least a minute before you come down or before you touch your support. So you want to hold it for at least a minute here, and then you're going to have a relax. You're going to rest, shake out your leg. You're going to come back to fifth position. You're going to go up to susu, come up to passe, hold it there. You're going to take your balance. You're going to hold it for at least a minute, at least a minute, and then come down. So you want to do that twice on your right leg, and then you're going to do turn around and do it twice on your left leg too. So balance in passe. Don't forget with all of these exercises you want to repeat it more times than what I'm doing and then you also want to turn around and repeat it on your other leg. Make sure that you're getting both legs in. You want to work both legs. You don't want to be one-legged dancers. The next exercise is for your hip flexor. We want to strengthen it by doing the first part of the exercise and then we're going to stretch it out. It's really important to stretch your hip flexor after you've been working it. So you're going to start in fifth position. Start in fifth position, you're going to put your arm in first position here for this exercise. Make sure it's not too high, you want it in line with your belly button. Now the first thing I want you to do is just lift up out of the waist, out of the spine, really nice and tall so that your posture is really correct. You can't be standing here like this, okay? Posture, really important to keep that posture and to work on that posture even when you can't come to ballet class, okay? So here we are, we're going to come up to passe and you're going to lift. When you lift, you don't lift from the bottom or the outside quad. You're trying to lift from underneath. It's a hitch from underneath. So you're going to go and one, and two, and three, and four, and five, six. We come together face the bar. That same leg that we were just lifting, you're going to put it behind you. Go into a lunge. You're really going to press down this hip as far down to the ground as you possibly can. Try not to twist like this. Yeah, this, is, this isn't correct. You want to keep nice and square with everything so everything's in line straight to the facing the wall. Hold it there, stretching out that hip flexor. Then you're going to recover. Return to face the other side, put your arm in first position, and then bring it back up to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We close together, face, face the wall or face the bar, and then stretch it out. So that leg's going to go behind, you're going to lengthen it out, hold it there, hold it there, come back together, turn back to the front. Don't forget to repeat the exercises more than I do them because you guys are stronger than me. Okay, here we go. Six, seven, eight, we lift on one, two, three, four, five, six, come together, stretch it out behind, hold. Nice and square, parallel back leg, coming back up, one, two, three, four, five, six, coming together, stretch it out, hold it there, let's go again, one, coming from underneath, lift from underneath, no bottoms lifting here, and stretch it out. Six, seven, 
seven, eight, lift off one. Ride out, make sure it's parallel when you do it. Coming to stand, finish it off. Fifth position, lift and relax. This next exercise is again to work your turn out, your rotators. So you really want to focus on that. We're going to start in fifth position. Fifth position. We're going to put our hand on our weights. Make sure that it's not back like this because that will really ruin your posture. You're going to have the elbow forward of your body always, really squeezing the abs, and then make sure that your back is really nice and straight and you're lifting up through the spine. So we're going to tend you, degage forward on one. Lift to an attitude, divan with a flexed foot. Two. Keeping the hips still, you're going to turn it parallel. Three. And then you're going to open it back out on four. Hold it there on five. Hold it there on six. Degage seven. Close on eight. Same thing to the side. One. Attitude lift. Two. Push this knee back. Make sure it's rotating. The bottom should be down. Yeah, we're rotating from underneath. Then you're going to turn parallel and rotate back out. Really rotate back out. Hold it there. Degage. Close behind. Same thing to the back. One. Lift. Rotate it. Lift up under the thigh so it's a good attitude. It comes in. Be careful not to twist the hips. In. And then you're going to rotate back out. Hold it there. Two counts. Degage. And come back in. And then same to the side. One. And lift. Rotate it. In. Rotate it back out. All the way back out. Hold it there. Sustain it. Lift on the supporting hip. Lift on the supporting hip as you close. And then close it back into a fifth position. Okay, let's try it with some music. Hand comes on the hip. We have one, two, three, four. Hold it there. Really rotate. Degage, close. Lift on the supporting hip. One, two, in, out. Hold it there. Lift supporting hip. Degage and close. One, two, in, out. Hold it there. Lift the knee up without twisting the hips. One, two, in, rotate out. Hold it there. first position. This one is again for your turnout to really strengthen your turnout muscles and to strengthen your supporting leg as well. It'll help with your balance too if you do it correctly. We're going to start in first position. On the introduction we're going to go five, six and we come into coupe derriere seven and your arms are in first position on eight. We're going to do pivots, eight of them. One, two, push, pushing the heel forward, heel leads away. Four, Five, six, seven, eight. Then we have a plie down, recover. We degage to second. We close into first position. Other leg degages to second. And then come into coupe deria. We do the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Plie down, two, three, four, degage to second, out, close, and then you're going to repeat it again. Out, come in, pivot on one, two, three, knee comes forward each time. Straight supporting leg, there should be no bent knees at all, seven, Eight, plie down, down, knee out, over the toe, stretch, and we go out to the side, close into first position, then you grab the other leg, and put it behind, 
Pivot on one, two, three, heel comes forward, heel comes forward, heel comes forward. Really squeeze that turn out, pull that leg nice and straight. Plie and stretch. Out to second, close into first, and then repeat it again. When you pivot, you lift your heel and it shifts forward. Hold up to your core as you're doing it. Really press the heel forward on the supporting leg as you're coming around. Demi plie down, knee over the toe, stretch. Out to second. Lift to close. One more time on the other leg. Heel comes forward. Do a grand plie. When you do your grand plie, the knee should be going straight out to the side. They shouldn't be falling forward, right? You're going to use your turn out. So you're going, going to grand plie down. We pulse one, two, keeping the knees pressed out, three, four. Then you're going to go up on a high demi point. You're going to hold it there. Come up, squeeze the legs strong, and then lower down. And again, one, two, three, four, high demi plie. And up and then low. Let's try it with the music. And we go one, two, three, four. And we come up, squeeze the legs and come back down. One, knees out, knees pressing out every single time. Push the high demi point, squeeze the legs. And do the exercises to that music. So we're going to be sitting on the ground, we're going to be lying on the ground, so if you have a mat, great, put the mat on the ground, otherwise you can use a towel, something to just um, have a little bit of cushion, especially if you're on a harder floor. So we're going to go ahead and lie down. The first one's for your core. You have to have a core exercise in conditioning class, always. Um, so you're going to lie down, and you're going to start with your legs up, right? Squeeze your knees together. Your arms are going to go by your side, okay? Your shoulders are gonna press down. You're gonna look into your belly button. So you're gonna lift your head and shoulders off the ground. Then you're gonna circle your arms as you extend your legs out and then come back in. Make sure to breathe throughout. Then we go again, circle, nice and slow, and then come back in. When you extend your legs, you don't want your legs up to the, the ceiling. You don't want them pointing straight up to the ceiling. You want them to come out at an angle, okay? When you circle your arms, you're gonna hold your shoulder in place. Circle your arms. You're not gonna be going like this. You shouldn't have a short neck. You should be nice and lengthened when you circle. So when you're circling your arms, they're just coming out and they're coming back in. Everything's gonna be still when your legs and your arms are moving. You're not going like this. You're really holding onto the core. And every time you come back into that centered position, this position here, take a breath. Pick some nice slow music. You wanna do it nice and slowly. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you wanna do at least 15 of those, at least 15. Have fun. 
For the last exercise of this class, we're going to be sitting on the floor again, lying down on the floor again. Um, and you're going to lie down in a similar position to what you started the last exercise in. You're going to put your hands on your knees though. Your shoulders and your head are going to come up. And you're going to reach one leg along, all the way out as far as you can, while pulling this into you. Then you're going to switch over. One. Stretching this leg nice and long. Make sure it's really nice and long. Pointed foot on the end. And squeeze. You should be squeezing in your abs. And change. Breathing as you do it. And change. The head is off the ground. The shoulders are off the ground. You're squeezing. You're not twisting at all. You shouldn't be moving anything. Apart from those little legs. Squeeze and hold. Hold it there. Just off the ground. And lengthen out. And change again. And change again. You're going to put some fun music on. You can do that one a little bit faster. You don't want to go too fast. You want to be one, two, three, four. Switch one, two, three, four. And I challenge you to do 50. So, 50 of those. Well, that's it for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this uh, short conditioning class. Um, hopefully, if this works out, I'll be able to get you a stretch class and a few other classes along the way. I hope everyone is um, happy and healthy. And um, please, please, please keep doing your ballet class. You don't want to lose your strength um, over these next coming weeks. Um, we'll be sending as um, much as we can to you. We miss everyone, and we can't wait to be back in the studio. Bye.